using the sort of surface tension of the water to keep his head up. But in real, actual fact, I think, is that the one that was floating on top of the hippo's head just now? No, I'm not sure if it is. But there was one when we just were coming down to Treehouse di Dam, out the corner of my eye, I saw a hippo going under with a terrapin on its head. So I'm hoping that one of these will see them just being elevated out of the water. Because terrapins often do like to sit on top of a hippo, whether it be their back or their heads. And they'll use that as an island of refuge where they can kind of sit and sun themselves and get that body temperature up. The other thing is that the hippos are quite happy to have terrapins around because terrapins are vitally important for keeping the hippo nice and clean of parasites. So not only do the oxpeckers help the hippo when they're on land, but when they're in water, these guys play a vital role in keeping that hippo clean. And what they do is they'll basically go up to where the hippo is and where there's ticks and parasites that are on the skin, you'll find these guys will actually go and bite them all and feed off them and get rid of them and keep that hippo clean. The problem with them is unlike the ox pickers that are almost surgical in the way that they remove parasites these guys have quite a nasty bite and they've got a hard beak like structure very similar to most turtles and tortoises and so when they bite down on a soft area of a hippo or a buffalo generally it's met with a massive flick and a, and a big sort of grunt within that animal and off goes the terrapin flying in a bow wave as that animal moves away so it's always quite fun to watch and there's our hippo just coming up now he's just poking his head out hopefully he's not going to be too shy hello look at it breathing isn't that cool see how the water's being blown out so you'll find when they go under they seal those nostrils now he's getting big deep breath of air in and then the nostril will seal there we go and then he'll go under and he'll just watch us slowly and when he comes back up, he'll breathe out heavily just to get rid of any water that's collected on top of that nostril. That's very cool. It's not every day that we get to be so close to a hippo and at eye level to one. It's a very cool thing to be able to see all the details in their face. Now, they're not deemed to be the most prettiest of animals, but I quite like hippos. I like their way that they look. I like the small little stubby ears and those big large eyes and big nostrils. There comes the terrapin. Look. Here comes his friend. Are you going to climb on? Yes. It almost looks as though the hippo is giving him a little helping hand, twisting his head slightly. So the terrapin is busy climbing onto the actual tusk of the hippo that's protruding underneath the lip. There we go. Dropped your head down. You're a very cooperative hippo. That was very nice of you. Now let's see if our terrapin goes all the way to the top. Isn't this cool? Hold on, terrapin, because there we go. You can see the hippo is not perturbed. It definitely knows that there's a terrapin on its head. But isn't that the coolest thing? <laughs> that is awesome. It's not every day that you're going to see a terrapin climbing between the eyes of a hippo. And that hippo seems as though, honestly, to have ducked its head down to allow that terrapin to climb up and has almost pushed it up and said, come on, get on top. I know you were on there and I went under and I disturbed you, so I'm sorry. Get back up there. There we go. Isn't this amazing? Not every day you're going to see that, that's for sure. Now for the terrapin, that must be the sing singular best place to be in the whole world because you know very few things are going to go after you on top of a hippo's head. There's going to be no fish that are going to try to get you, no storks, no leopards are going to jump on a hippo's head to try and grab you. So that is the single best place to go and sun yourself. It's almost like having your own private security guard. So, Karen, you say, oh, nice, he let him up. I know, it was amazing to watch. I've actually never seen a hippo do that. Often hippos are a little bit funny about these kind of things, particularly anything around their eyes and their nostrils. You'll find oxpeckers do go land there, and then the hippo goes under. He doesn't like all that sort of commotion around its eye, but it definitely sort of twisted its head slightly and went under a little bit and pulled that terrapin up. So that was very cool to witness. And you can see now the terrapin's got a perfect place to warm up its body. They're a very nice hippo. That's cool. So, Bunny, you're asking what is the difference between a terrapin, a turtle, and a tortoise? 
Well, here in South Africa, the turtles that we get are all sea-going creatures, so they swim around in the ocean, not in the freshwater areas. Our freshwaters are dominated by terrapin, so they have a, a no tolerance to the salt like the turtles do. So are you going to let another one up onto your head? No. You're getting out now. Ooh, hold on, terrapin. It's going to be a bit of a rough ride for a few seconds. So, a terrapins are all freshwater. They have no tolerance of the salt whatsoever. So, that's one difference with them. Then, the tortoises are all land-based. So, they don't spend any time in water like the terrapins and the turtles do. So, that's the separation between them and... Oh, no. Oopsie. That didn't go well. There goes our terrapin. Look, floating away at the back there. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You'll have to swim back towards your hippo friend and have to tell him off for dumping you. I don't think that went quite according to plan for that terrapin. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Often they get dumped in a big bow wave and it must feel as though they're in an ocean that's 10 foot high and they're kind of being smashed around and rolled around. It's almost like when we go into big seas and you try and go surfing and you get thrown off must be the same kind of feeling.